Alright, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a background sort of like this with the smoky effect, and it's pretty neat. So, what you'll first need is to download all the smoke brushes, which I'll put in the link in the description, which I got from somewhere else. Um, but these are all down. So, anyway, first, what you're going to want to do is open up a document, doesn't matter what size, then you're going to want to put in a background, I'm just going to push command delete to put it in black, I'm going to use black, you can use whatever, so then make a new layer, and then go into your brushes tool, and then go to your brushes, and go to these smoke brushes and choose which one you want. It's pretty intense, but so he's no, I don't like that. It's fine with good one. All right, we'll use that. It's pretty good. So now, after you put out your smoke how you want it. Just then we're gonna push command and control and click on this box in your layer and it doesn't look like it's all selected but it really is so now go to this half filled circle and go to gradient and we're gonna click on the in this box right here that shows the gradient that you currently have and here where it says gradient type solid, change it to noise. And that just allows you to have cool different colors. And you can change it here if you want. Edit it. I'm just gonna keep um I'll just go with that. And you can change the angle of the gradient and if you want it to be angled or reflected, just gonna go with linear and click OK. Now we're gonna create a new layer and you can use like an image from the custom shapes tools or anything, but I'm gonna use a paintbrush that I make custom that you can go to my how to make a custom paintbrush tutorial on here. So I'll just use an apple paintbrush I made. So we're gonna paint it on and then double click on the layer and go to here to fill opacity and bring it down. What fill opacity does is makes it so if you have effects on it, they'll show up. If you use just opacity, nothing will show up. So we're gonna use fill opacity we're going to add a bevel and emboss and we're going to put in an inner bevel you can you can choose whatever you want I'm just going to use an inner bevel and just edit these settings to however you want it so that's good for me now we're going to add an inner glow and you can choose whatever color you want I'll go with the bright green. Which way do I go? I'll go with the bright green. And so just change the size however you want it. So that's pretty cool to me. Now we're going to add a drop shadow. We're going to change the color of the drop shadow to whatever you want. I'll choose a yellow color. And then change the distance and the angle. You can choose your angle. Okay, I don't really like that yellow color. <laughs>
we'll just go with red just for the sake of it. So change your angle and your size. And then you can change this to normal if you want. Well, I think it looks a lot better. So I'm blending with change this to normal. And there we go, just click OK and it's kind of a cool effect for a background on your computer.